and city. Oh, bro. It's generating block by block. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It just spawned the shulker. Awesome. So what is up? Hi. It's your Prince, Prince MJ, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock add-on review episode. In this episode, we're reviewing the Minecraft, but you can craft structures add-on by Redstone Chicken. Yes, you heard that right. You can now craft structures in Minecraft. So you can craft nine unique vanilla structures in your Minecraft Bedrock world now. That's very, very awesome. Unique meaning that they will have randomized loot every time you spawn them, which is super cool. First structure that we have here is the Bastion. It's craftable with six blackstone and three gold bars, so let's do it. Craft it like this. When you're crafting it, go to your construction tab and nice. then select the Bastion spawn egg. Bastion spawn egg, here we go. Wait, oh, there we go. There was a delay. Oh, bro, <gasps> it's spawned. Bro, look at this, the Bastion in the, in the overworld, mind you. Okay. Oh, it spawned like piglins. Very, very nice. And if we go inside, the loot also spawned. There we go. Projectile yes! protection 3. Diamond leggings. Nice. So this is how big it is. Okay. This is so strange and cool at the same time seeing a bastion in the overworld. Okay. Next structure is the nether fortress. So you can craft the nether fortress with six nether brick blocks and two lava buckets. And then one diamond in the middle. So you can go to your construction tab once again, select this blaze rod, and there we go. Nether fortress spawning. These structures are huge, so let's distance them. Here we go, we have the nether warts, and then where's the blade spawner? Oh, chest right there, let's see the loot. Awesome. Yeah, so, spawners. Is it still generating? What is oh, that? look at this lava going to flow down. I don't know if this has some sort of like spawner. It's cut off. Oh, it does. So right here. So that's very, very nice. They're not going to spawn, but still cool regardless. Now, strongholds can also be crafted with two diamond, three ender pearls, and three stone. One block of diamond on top. So craft it by going to your construction tab. Click on this and portal frame thingy and then stronghold oh boy look at this look at it look at it here's the entrance so let's see loot oh boy awesome loot right there we have the library and of course we saw the end portal right here ocean monuments can also be crafted so you need eight gold blocks and then one chest go to your crafting table select this first marine block thingy and then you will have your ocean monument spawn egg. So let's check it out. Oh, bro, this is not appropriate. It needs to be in an ocean. But let's try it regardless of the situation. Oh, bro, it conflicted with this nether fortress. Oh, no. Okay. But anyway, still looks awesome. So let's head inside. Yeah, I hear some, like, guardians screeching. Oh, poor guardians. Oh, the Elder Guardian. Oh, poor Elder Guardian. Moving on, if you guys like pillagers bothering you, you can now craft pillager outposts with the eight oak log and a single chest. So go to your construction tab, click on the spawn egg looking thing. We already know how a pillager outpost looks like. So here we go. It generates like this by block by block. That's just amazing. Okay, that's one detail we didn't see in other structures prior to this because they're just so big so it generates block by block that's just awesome so let's see the loot okay we have the goat horn and bottles of enchanting okay very very nice loot indeed want to find ruined portals easier well you can now craft them with one lava bucket and one water bucket with a single chest in the middle craft it like this or just click on this obsidian block thing and then you will now be able to craft the ruined portal. Let's see, block by block, right? Ruined portal, where are you? Oh, 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 it's so epic. It's so epic. I love, I I, I wish I could have seen the other ones to generate block by block. But my PC can't handle it for now. So here is the loot. Sharpness 2 and Unbreaking 3 for a golden axe. I'll take that. Now if you fancy desert temples, you can now craft them also. With 6 sandstone. Two iron ingots and one single chest in the middle. Click on this, like, sandstone block thingy. Craft it. Boom. You have your desert temple spawn egg. So let's see it generate block by block. This is a temple. Okay, let's see it generate. Where is it? Hello? Um, desert temple? 
Desert, desert temple, where are you? So that's just weird. I don't know why the desert temples don't spawn. Just when you think it couldn't get more crazier, you can now spawn. You can now craft end cities. So you need six end stone, two ender pearls, and one single chest in the middle. Click on this ender chest, and then you will have the spawn egg of the end city. All of them can be crafted in the construction tab, so take note of that. End city! Oh, bro! It's generating block by block! It's amazing! It's amazing! It's amazing! It just spawned the shulker! Awesome! So here's the end city in the overworld! How crazy! Along with the ship, and then... There's your Elytra. Let's see the loot. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is awesome. Look at this diamond sword. You almost get full armor. Okay, that's nice. The only thing that's missing is the diamond boots. So that is just spectacular. The end city in the overworld, okay? That's the let's get calm down with villages. So you can now craft villages with five cobblestone stairs, one single chest, and then three oak logs. Click on this villager spawn egg in your construction tab. And then you will have this village spawn egg. So let's go. Let's see how it generates block by block. Okay, here we go. This is so awesome. So are these going to be fixed? And that poor iron golem is getting crushed. So let's spawn another oak village. Okay, I think this will... Oh, no. It's still the same. Maybe you need to be in a, some sort of leveled place. Because it's not actually spawning them, right? But I'm glad this iron golem is okay in this village. Compared to there. So what if I spawn it like right here? Yeah, there we go. It will be okay. So with villages, you need to spawn them in an area elevated. This is such an epic sight to see. Overall, I'm satisfied with this awesome quirky add-on by Redstone Chicken. Where you can now craft structures in Minecraft Bedrock. So if you would like to craft structures in Minecraft Bedrock and beat Minecraft Bedrock in a different way, download this add-on and show Redstone Chicken some support. Subscribe right now to this YouTube channel and ring that notification bell icon so you won't miss the next Minecraft Bedrock add-on review. Become a patron on Patreon so you get exclusive content. And if you want to keep watching, do you want to make it rain fire in Minecraft Bedrock? Elemental Swords add-on review out now. Just click on the video on your right to watch it now. Elemental Sword and the Magma. Almost no difference at all, but the particles seem more cleaner. So what do you do, Magma? Elemental Sword. Oh, so it's scorched. Wait. It's a different kind of ability. Whoa. Look at what happened. 